Hi, my name is Maryam, and today I'm going to present you cash flow forecasting for Sage 300, one of the 12 add-on products developed by Systronics. So cash flow forecasting offers a complete solution for easy and effective cash flow forecasting inside Sage 300. With this tool, running simulations and conducting what-if analysis is fast and effortless. It allows to create provisional transactions such as receipts, payments, bank transfers, and calculate bank balance forecasts based on these transactions as of any future date. This way, you can see what effect a transaction would have on bank balance without actually creating that transaction in Sage 300. They do not affect the actual bank balances. It is possible to modify each provisional transaction anytime as long as it has not been converted into an actual transaction. Cash flow forecasting is not just a convenient projecting tool, it, is also, it also simplifies the process of creating transactions in Sage 300. Since the program enables to convert provisional transactions into actual transactions, it is just a matter of seconds to update subledgers and bank account balances. Moreover, with this application, you can stop worrying about inadvertently exceeding bank overdraft limits in your forecasts. You define bank overdraft limits to facilitate spotting transactions that take the account balance below the overdraft limits. The transactions that put the bank balance below the overdraft limit are highlighted. Cash flow forecasting also allows to generate provisional transactions automatically from accounts receivable invoices, accounts payable invoices, order entries, purchase orders, or GL account budgets. Also, cash flow forecasting allows to generate recurring provisional transactions for the transactions that are repeating over time. Now let's go live and see how the program actually works. So I will go to the main screen, Management Console screen. The Provisional Transaction Management Console screen is a central management screen in cash flow forecasting used to review the current and provisional bank balances as of a selected date. The Management Console screen is the place where all provisional transactions are managed. You can open, create, delete provisional transactions, generate actual transactions, or print reports. So here we have our bank here, Australian Commercial Bank, and the statement currency of our bank is Australian Dollars. We have our overdraft limit, uh, which is $2,000. And let's say we want to make projections until the end of September to see how our cash is working. So now the current balance of our bank is $1,500. Let's generate uh, provisional transactions. This is the auto-generate provisional transaction screen, which allows to auto-generate transactions based on accounts receivable invoices, AP invoices, order entries, purchase orders, or GL account budgets. Let's uh, select AR invoices. Let's say we are expecting to get receipts from our customers until the end of September. Let's uh, select the documents for which the due date is the end is until the end of September, so the 30th, 30th of September. And the starting date is today. We just click on the Go button and the invoices that we have in our accounts receivable appear here. We can select them and they are selected. We, if we are not expecting uh, receipts for some of them, we can deselect it or just select it and click the Generate button. And provisional transactions based on this accounts receivable invoices are now generated. 
let's go to our main screen, Management Console screen, and see what happens here. As you can see, the running balance is increasing based on the receipts that we are expecting to get from our customers. And we can see the closing balance as of the end of September here. Let's uh, generate uh, payments as well. We will generate payments from AP invoices. And again, let's select the documents for which the due date is the end of September. And we will select the documents starting from today. We just click on the Go button and we here have the AP invoices for which we are expecting to make payments. Click on the Generate button and four transactions are generated. Let's go back to our Management Console screen and here we can see what effect these payments have on our cash balance. Transactions exceeding the overdraft balance are highlighted in the running balance column, so you can easily spot when the bank balance goes below the overdraft limit and take appropriate action. As you can see here, uh, our overdraft limit is 2000 and in the end of the month, we are exceeding our cash balance, which is not very good. So uh, what we can do, we can, for example, print our cash flow forecasting report and see if there are any banks that have enough balance. As of 15th of September, we, have, we can print the cash flow forecasting report for multiple banks. I have selected the banks which are operating with Australian dollar uh, currency. We have three of them. Uh, I also want to include graph in my report, so I will choose weekly and print the report. The purpose of the cash flow forecasting report is to show forecasted cash position as of selected date. So now it's printing. On this report, we can see the bank receipts, payments and the running balance for the three banks that I selected. I can go to the last page of the report and here we have a graph which shows the cash balance of our banks. So the bank that we were projecting uh, the, the balance on was Australian Commercial Bank, the bank which is mentioned here with yellow color. We can see that at the same time, while our balance of Australian Commercial Bank goes below our overdraft limit, we can see that we have another bank which has enough balance, which is this green uh, colored bank, Australian Bank. So now we can create bank transfers to uh, not exceed our overdraft limit. So we can do it from the Management Console screen. We will open the Provisional Transaction Entry screen from there. Select Bank Transfer. And we will uh, transfer money from the Australian bank, which had enough balance, to our Australian Commercial Bank, which was exceeding the overdraft limit. So let's transfer, for example, 3,000 Australian dollars. We can add one service charge for each of our banks. So I will add one charge for one of my banks. Let's say $10. And save my provisional transaction as of 15th of September, as you can see. So it is now saved. So now in our provisional transaction management console screen, the bank transfer is added here and we can see that we are no longer exceeding our overdraft limits, which is very good.
Uh, another option that we could do was to change uh, the bank for one of our payments. Let's say we're expect expecting to make a payment with big amounts, so we could just uh, change the bank of the payment transaction and it will change our cash position of the current Australian Commercial Bank. Uh, cash flow forecasting also allows to create recurring transactions, which are templates for provisional transactions. You can generate provisional transactions based on the recurring transactions periodically or spe on specified dates. You can, for example, create a template for rental service payments and generate provisional transactions for future periods with a click of a button. So let's uh, create a recurring transaction. Let's name it rent. It is a payment, miscellaneous payment. And let's add details to it. The GL account for our payment is going to be this one. It's a rental account. And let's say we expect to make payments of $500 each month. So let's add also a schedule code. Uh, so as we are going to make payments for each month, let's select monthly schedule. And let's say the starting date is today. So we're starting to pay every month starting from today. Let's add this recurring transaction and uh, here we have a button, create provisional transactions. And we have three options. Uh, we can create uh, provisional transactions with the next schedule or if we want to uh, project for the man, for many months, we can, for example, select up to date and select a future date and uh, the provisional transactions will be created for each month. And also we can select specific date and on that specific date, the provisional transaction will be created. So for now, let's just create provisional transactions with next schedule and start process click process and one provisional transaction is created as a result. We can also delete provisional transactions, uh, a range of provisional transactions. Let's say we know that there are some uh, provisional transactions for which we are not going to receive cash or make payments. So we come to the delete provisional transactions screen and select the transactions that we know we're not going to receive or pay for. I selected them and we just click on delete button and these transactions are deleted successfully. Let's go back to our main screen again. So, as you can see, there is one transaction which has a date uh, of today. So, let's say I actually receive money for this transaction with this receipt. I can just open it. And uh, generate actual transaction for this receipt. It's very easy, just clicking here and adding a receipt in our Sage 300 accounts receivable module. It's the accounts receivable receipt entry screen. It opens it. And as we can see, it is applied. Our receipt is applied to the invoice from which we auto generated it earlier. We just can add it. And if we want, we also can post this transaction from here. And our provisional transaction is now completed as I generated an actual Sage 300 transaction from it.